Hey, True here. Time for some more Legend of Zelda Links to the Past. Last episode, we managed to down the Ice Palace, and now we're moving on to some of the final dungeons. I think all we have left now is the Swamp, Total Rock, and then we're on to Ganon. But I think there's a couple more items I want to get before I actually move on. Not a couple more items, just one more item in particular. I think I know where it's at, but I'm not certain, but I'll find out real quick. I'm gonna check real quick. I'm trying to remember where the cane is. There's another cane I get that basically puts a little swirl of protection around you. It's really nice. I'm gonna try to find that real quick. I think I remember where it's at, but I'm not certain. There we go. I knew that was somewhere. There was somewhere I can zip line across. Yeah, I think the can actually might be up here. No? There's something somewhere. I know it's a pretty vague statement. <laughs> something somewhere. But I know the cane's around here somewhere. I plan on finding it. Because I do like that. Right here. Heart piece. I'm fine with that too. Can't go wrong with more hearts. Is it up on Death Mountain? I think the cane is up on Death Mountain actually, now that I'm really thinking about it. Let's see here. Oh, this shit thing. Hey, I'll tell you a profitable story if you pay me 20 rubies. How about it? Sure. Hey, thank you. I'll tell you the truth. I found a crippled beauty inside the pyramid, but someone sealed the door. You can't do anything with it. A standard bomb, they say. Hmm, I wonder if that means the super bombs at the shop. If the super bombs there, that'd be pretty nice. Now I want to go check. How did that happen? One thing at a time. Let's see. Don't mess with me, birds. Let's see. True and honest opinion. Rank yourself in your guild as being the best healer around. Do I rank myself as the best healer in WoW? Or do I, am I the best player? Best healer? I don't think I'm the best healer in the guild, but there's a lot of people in the guild I'm in right now. It's the Convert to Raid guild. I think up to almost like eight co-guilds right now. A lot of people, there's a lot of good healers out there. In my guild rank myself. Hmm. I'd like to say probably top 10. Not to have a big head about it or anything, but I don't think I'm pretty good. I'll probably end up regretting that statement later on, but that's what I think. Probably top 10. Paladin healer, maybe top, easily top 2 or 3 Paladin healers. 
Alright, I think it's on Death Mountain. If it's on Death Mountain, I might not wait before I go get it. Because I'm not going to waste a lot of time going up Death Mountain just to see if it's there. I might. I'm going to find it. I know the cane's somewhere. I know it exists. But I won't lie, my curiosity is peaked now as if the bomb shop has the super bomb. This is what that little sheep told me in the cave. Does my emulator have every single SNES game on it? I do not believe so. I actually have a, just a lot of ROMs. Um, I actually think I got it from a few other people. Over time, I've collected the ROMs for it. Oh, no super bomb. Oh, come on. That's stupid. But it does have every single one. I have a good portion of them, though. I don't know I have a lot of games. I have some porn games on there, which I don't have the method to translate them and play them. Some will probably entertain to play, but. I have no real way to actually translate figure them out. But I know I got quite a few games on there. Alright, for now, I'm just going to head to this dungeon. Okay, use my bird, fly on over. Number six. Okay, here we go, to the swamp. That's a very good idea from chat room. Chrono Trigger. That's a very good idea indeed. Um, thank you very much for recommending that. That's such a good game. That even makes me want to consider the Final Fantasies too. All very excellent. Let me go side this other way first. What am I doing Chrono Cross either? That was, I enjoyed that game a lot too. I don't know about PlayStation emulators. I wish I could just play the game. I have the games downstairs. It'd make me a lot easier if I could. Alright, let's see here. There we go, another piece of heart. Can't go wrong with that. Alright, if I'm another piece of heart, that would be nice. Oh, this works too. Full health. Best way to start a dungeon. Since I don't remember it, it wasn't that bad. Actually, I didn't remember this boss now. It's some sort of slime thing. Slime eyeball, I think do I have to hook shot it out or something. Ah, I don't really know much. Don't you can. Ah, oh, I got lucky on that one. I thought he almost had me. 
have full fairness. Do nothing with it yet. Let's see, what is my favorite Final Fantasy? Honestly, I gotta go to the first one I played, and that was Final Fantasy IX. It's probably just because it's the first one I played, but it's probably one of my favorites. I played most of the ones after PlayStation, from Final Fantasy Tactics, probably to 7, all the way to 12 in the recent ones, more. I did play some of the older ones, but I never really got around to finishing them. So I mean, they were entertaining enough, but they didn't, uh, didn't really care to finish some of them, I mean. I forget some reasons, I think I ended up giving away my PSP, which I had a lot of them on. They're fun, I mean, but following Final Fantasy IX, I've enjoyed the most. Just probably because, like I said, it's the first one I played. Stop moving your skeletons. just done that in the first place. Save myself some hearts. about everyone crying about Final Fantasy 7 remakes. All right, I'm not going to say Final Fantasy 7 wasn't the greatest game, wasn't one of the greatest Final Fantasy games. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to argue that. There's better words for it. But I mean, you can only do the same story so many times. I mean, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy Advent Children, the movie, I mean, there's not much more you can do with that story that you can make the same people I've happened to them. I mean, I see where it would be awesome. I wouldn't mind seeing one myself, but at the same time, it just doesn't make sense to keep doing it. Sephiroth was a fantastic character. That's why they were able to actually make the game, but just to tell them the story about Sephiroth and the character that Cloud got his booster sword from. That's how they were able to actually just make a game on that on its own and people enjoyed it. But, uh, once again, it's getting overdone a little bit. Oh, 
I honestly never got into 12. I did not like the combat system on it compared to other Final Fantasies. Just to be honest about that, I mean. That was just me though. I mean, the story was good. I enjoyed some story, but never really got into it. You know, it's sweet cool. So it's one of those games that I wouldn't mind playing more and giving it a better chance than I did. Square itself and Square Ennis that lost a lot of its steam. Yeah, I mean, authority changed hands. I don't honestly know all the details that happened in it, but some people, a lot of people agree that it did lose a lot of its steam. Oh, that was easy. Just to get the map. Okay. What am I missing? I'm missing something. There's one way I didn't go, I didn't tell you. Yep. <laughs> that was close, I don't want to get too many times. I think that's the big key, so I gotta get to that. Little teaser it didn't show me where it was at. Oh, thank you, that magic helps. Okay, let's see. games am I most looking forward to on the next gen consoles? answer that question. Was I just messed it up and redo it? Oh, it seems my mistake too. I think the games I talked about on the Xbox One coming out are probably the games I'm looking forward to next. Um, Dead Rising 3, freaking Rise, Son of Rome, the Black Flag for Assassin's Creed, Titan, Is it Titanfall, Destiny. A lot of good games coming out that are going to be a lot of fun to play. 
There's some games out right now that I wouldn't mind playing. I think, was it Beyond Two Souls? That's a game I'm looking at that I wouldn't mind having playing either. And there's the big Awesome. Destiny, I, I got that actually. I actually had Destiny pre ordered. I'm looking forward to getting that when it comes out. Watch dogs. Yep, that's another good one. Looks good. Fan of Call of Duty or Battlefield? Honestly, I enjoy the Call of Duty games. I'm more on, I like playing it online more, but I hate how aggravated I get. I get really, I take a lot of things personally on that game. I get pretty upset. I mean, not as upset as some people I know I've seen get playing the Call of Duty games online, but. It was getting pretty bad out, so I was getting over it, and it's just a game. I shouldn't let that, that get me upset, so I stopped playing it. There we go, King. Got the King of Samarile? Samaria? Ever play the Mass Effect games? Yes, I did. I played Mass Effect 1. I enjoyed playing it, but it, honestly, I never really got into it, I'll admit. I mean, yeah, it's an awesome game. I enjoy watching others play it, but I just didn't really. I wasn't a huge fan of its gameplay until number 3. Number 3, I enjoyed the gameplay a lot. But just number one, I didn't like the gameplay that much. I mean, some people swear by it. Uh, it was alright. I think I was having enough games going on when those came out to where it had my attention. I need to figure this dang dungeon now. I was just near the end of it. Just need to get back to it. There's where I need to get. Can I elaborate on Destiny? What it's supposed to be about? Honestly, no. I have not really looked into it that much. I know it's from the same creators of Halo, and that got my attention on its own. And I've looked at some of the previews for it. The gameplay just looks a lot fun. Just looks good. The graphics seem amazing on it, and that's something that gets my attention too. I probably will look into it more as it gets to a closer date of it coming out, and I'll probably elaborate more on it then. But I mean, honestly, I took the recommendation of the. GameStop, one of the GameStop workers, I think she really recommended it, so I was like, ah, oh, okay.
that sort of just put there to be in the way and slow me down. I don't know why I thought that was going to blow up. This is very perfect. Slime stripping everywhere, that's always a lot of fun too. Hey, boss room. Perfect. Definitely pushing the heck out of that button, though. Escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Ganon captured us because he couldn't break the seal of the wise men with his power alone. And then, using the wizard, Agnum, as his pawn, he drew us into the dark world. After cracking the seal of our powers, he sealed us inside these crystals. He then gave us to his loyal monsters, but Ganon didn't plan on you getting this far. Now, Princess Zelda is waiting for you inside of Turtle Rock. Please hurry. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Made the way to hero lead to Triforce. Alright, I'm going to be ending the episode on that. Until next time.